Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at how to check out an individual file in Git. There's a couple of ways to do it. You can do a Git checkout, specify a commit or a branch and then the actual file name. Or you could do a Git reset and again similarly specify the commit branch and the file name. So I'm going to use this visual tool here to see the difference between the two and probably which one you should be using. Um, let me clear this one down and then we can start from scratch so we can get an understanding of of what is going on internally when we're doing these things. Uh, let's get this over here. All right, so we've got an empty repo. Let's create let's create a file, and we'll just put the text pass into it. Uh, we'll call it test.txt, and we'll add that to our repo and commit it. We should see that in here. All right, so there's our file. Uh, we've got a branch and a commit now with this this one change in it. Now I'm going to add another piece of text to it and create another commit. So I'll do, um, let's put fail into this test.txt, add that and commit it as well, like so. All right, so we've got a couple commits. We've got one file, test.txt, um, and it's got a couple of different lines in it. Now, so the current situation is it's got pass and fail in it. Let's have a look in here. So yeah, we just got pass and fail. Say we wanted to check out this guy here. We wanted to almost get rid of those changes, but we've we've already committed it. Um, we could, you know, we could try and pull that file out and then and then commit it again. Now, as I say, there's two ways of doing it. Let's do the git checkout first. See that approach. Um, all right, so how would we grab it? We could do a git checkout, um, and then we need to specify a commit or, or a branch. So we've got this commit here. You can see it's A3A2. So we're going to do A3A2. And then we need to do dash dash and a space and give the file name, and it's test.txt. Um, all right, so let's see what happens internally when we check this out. You can see over here, this is our staging area. Um, the index for Git, and at the moment it's got the latest file with the text pass and fail in it. Um, when I check this out, we'll see if this updates, if anything in the repo updates, and anything in the working area, so up here in our folder. Um, okay, so let's check that out. So we specify the commit and the file name. Now if we look over on the index file, you can see it just updated there. It's updated the index or the staging area, to be the file that we've checked out. So it's got just got the, the text pass in it. And it's also updated our working area here, because if I look at the file, it's updated it there. So it's updated it in the two places, working area and the staging area, but not, nothing in the repo. Nothing else has changed in here, we see nothing at all. Um, if um so yeah let me just check that again there so so, so now what i want to do is yeah look at the status so i look at the status we can see that we've actually got a change ready to be committed so we haven't normally you would just you would need to do a git add to be in this scenario you'd make a change in your working area you do git add and then it would say yep ready changes to be committed but we don't need to add it because the checkout updated the staging area for us, then Git thinks there's a change to be committed because there's a difference between the 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 um, the file in the staging area, which has just got pass, and the file in the actual repo, which has got pass fail. Hence, it's, it thinks you've done a Git add, essentially, because it just compares those two. Um, and that's why you're getting that scenario. So I could just do a Git commit now, um, and I'd be back with the, the text of um, just pass and I'd have kind of reverted it in a way so that's that's the way I would I would recommend checking out the file and to sort of understand it a little bit more you can do we can just look at what you would happen if we did a git reset to it um, so let me let me let me kind of reset back to where we were on this commit here um, so if I do a git um, reset dash dash hard onto 2dba and that should get me back here we should see the index updates here and it just did there so we're back to pass fail which matches pass fail here now that means when I do a git status everything's clean because there's no difference there 
and also if I look at the file it's pass and fail as well so that's why git status is nice and clean for us now because everything's matching working staging and repo all right let's do a git reset git reset um, specify the commit so this guy here again a3 a2 a3 a2 and then the file test.txt all right when I check this out now, let's see what updates this time. Will the staging area, the index, will that update? Yeah, we get an update in there. But the difference is it hasn't updated in our folder. If I look in here, we'll see it's still got the latest file. It didn't update it back to this guy here. That means when I do a git status, I get, let me make it bigger so we can see this. I get this scenario here, whereby, whereby I've got changes to be committed and I've got changes not staged. Now, the reason for this is it because it didn't update in here, because I've still got uh, the latest file here, then this is different to what I've got in the staging area, the git staging area. So it says, right, you've modified it puts the modified up but then also this pass doesn't match what is in the repo and so we've got changes to be committed again um, so git reset only updates one of the uh, one of the areas it updates the staging area git checkout will update the working area and the staging area in which case it's a little bit cleaner and a little bit easier to understand what's going on the git reset Certainly for pulling a file out here to try and revert back to it, wouldn't really want to use. But it does help to under, give you an understanding of the difference and what is going on under the hood for both of them. Um, so yeah, git, git checkout would be the one to use, I'd imagine. And certainly in this scenario, to pull a file out and reset it. All right, I hope that was interesting. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if not. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.